What's the worst you've ever been cock-blocked, beaver damned? I remember getting invited to a party where I didn't know anyone except the two people I came with. Spend the night vibing with a cute girl, finally invite her up to the roof with me. As we're literally walking out the door, some asshole screams. Hey where are you going with him, HES totally gonna try and hook up with you. The girl gets all embarrassed and avoids me the rest of the night. I ended up in some dude's room playing rock band with three other guys trying to avoid the main party. I had really hit it off with this lady in a bar in Hawaii in my late 20s. We were talking all night and enjoying drinks. One thing led to another and we ended up making out. Then some lady taps me on the shoulder and very indignantly yells, Stephen. How dare you cheat on your wife like this while she's sick in the hotel. I'm disgusted with you. And storms off. My name isn't Stephen nor was I married or even dating anyone at the time. My husband and I, before we got married, were taking advantage of the 20 minutes I had before I had to leave for work when someone knocked on our door. We didn't answer. Then we hear someone using a key to enter our home. It was my husband's old roommate, who I already fucking despised, using his old key long after he'd moved out to welcome himself into our home to look for something he might have left in storage. I'm still mad. He had me tied up in his bedroom for some kinky fun. His toddler daughter who we had put to bed an hour earlier and made sure she was sound asleep came bursting through the door screaming, poop, because she was potty training and would yell that when she had to go. Now I'm tied up and gagged. He's in the bathroom getting ready. She is pooping her diaper and thinking we're playing some game. We did not have sex that night. Back in high school a girl asked me out and I mindlessly replied that I have no time since I have a World of Warcraft raid in the afternoon. Fifteen years later, I still think about this. She was the prettiest girl in class and I actually liked her. Why did I crush her like that I don't know. On a lunch break in high school and a girl who I had been flirting with quite a bit asked where I was going for lunch and I responded, my place, she then gave me a look and asked if she could join. We were just getting into the parking lot when a friend saw and ran over to ask if he could come. I felt awkward about the whole thing so said sure. He then yelled shotgun to sit next to me on the drive to my place. I then proceeded to make them both grilled cheese and soup. Very disappointing lunch break. In high school my friend threw a house party and when me and my boyfriend retired to the guest room, some friends rolled up a big ass speaker to the door and played Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Then proceeded to go through the entire Lion King soundtrack. Edit to add. No we did not fuck that night lmao. Performance anxiety is a real bitch. I was dating a girl that was also on board the same navy ship as I, at sea, and we were in a locked room getting a little frisky. I had just gotten inside her when the man overboard alarms go off. After the half hour it took to settle that out we returned to the locked room to continue where we left off. Not five minutes later the alarm went off again because everyone on the ship took too long the first time and apparently we needed to do I again. We gave up after the second time. Been married to her for 17 years now. Back when I was 18 just out of high school, was with this woman who I knew from HS who asked me to go with her back to her place and she was not subtle about it at all. Friend of mine overheard this and stole her wallet, as if he didn't score, no one scored. Spent two hours looking for the wallet until she rang her sister to take her home. After he hands me the wallet and winks saying, better luck next time. Looking back, probably one of the biggest turning points of my life, as it showed me what kind of person he was. My best friend, at the time, from high school to early 20s, would be terrible when we were around new guys or anyone she thought was cute. She was very flirty and loud, always needed all eyes on her. I was not, am still not that way. I was talking to a guy at a party, he seemed smart and genuine. We were talking about our favorite authors and she walked up and said, I don't know why you're talking to her about this, she can't even read, and then she started flirting with him hard. So I walked away. I'm pretty sure they slept together. Camrose Alberta. Doug and the Slugs concert. I was in the taxi with the cute girl and her friends. My piece of shit, friend, pulled me out and made me wait with him and the others waiting for taxis. One thing led to another and the next thing you know I am in a flagpole climbing contest. I broke the pole. Nearly my back too, got arrested, and never saw the cute girl again. Fuck you Adam out with a group of friends and I started chatting up a little cutie that came with another guy's gf. It was going well. She even said something about me going with her to make an appearance at some friend's party across the street so we could keep the convo going. One of my younger buddies walked over to talk to me and said something in his stupid Scottish accent and that was pretty much it. 
She swooned and started talking to him and I accepted defeat. Me and my ex were having a morning quickie before work and just as things were starting up our roommate banged on the door freaking out because there was a roach in her bathroom and she needed me to kill it. Mood was dead when I returned lol. My brother used to regularly enter my room when I was with my high school boyfriend. Several times we were in the throes. He would just barge in and fucking stand there. We were naked under the covers so we would just scream at him until he left which made him laugh and made us angrier. Thankfully this was 10 years ago, my brother is much more considerate and the boyfriend is now an ex. But it still pisses me off to think about. Edit. I envy those of you who had locks on your bedroom doors. It's not really the norm for rented units, in my experience. Was just starting to do stuff with my boyfriend the other night and my roommate starting banging on the door. Our dog slipped through the fence and we had to chase them around for half an hour. I was at a sorority party and this girl I was vibing with takes me by the hand and leads me upstairs to find a private spot. My friend sees this and literally grabs me halfway up the stairs and says, we have to go, and drags me out of the party. I was pretty faded and trusted his judgment in the moment. We make it out to the street and I ask him, what's going on? He tells me he was, saving me, from hooking up with that girl who he felt was not up to par. I was so lit I didn't care and then we proceed to wrestle out on the street as I am trying to go back inside. We never made it back inside the party. I gave this a like just for the phrase beaver damned. Ha ha. Never heard of it before. Myself. Banging my girlfriend, now wife, from behind when her hand slipped off the bed and she caught herself with her teeth on the nightstand. Knocked out a tooth. No happy ending. She looks great now though. I was at the bar one night and had a girl into me, we started making out, somewhere out back and I realized she was way too gone to consent. Told her as much. Bam, diabetic seizure. Had to call an ambulance. I was having sex with my girlfriend at the time and her mom walked in on us and goes, oh god. And slammed the door shut. Safe to say the mood was ruined lol. Was at a bar and a woman starts coming up to me and we start chatting. Woman is clearly interested in me and is kissing me and whispering sweet nothings into my ear so I ask her if she wants to go for a walk on the beach and she agrees. Right as we are leaving the bar, a man walks up and asks what we are doing, bear in mind neither of us knew who he was. We tell him we are going for a walk on the beach and he promptly decides to join us for our walk and literally does not leave our side for the next two hours. I wanted to explode. I had a date, it went well, we had a few drinks on my way driving her home she's like oh hey. Looks like you had too much to drink you shouldn't drive home, and I'm like pfft I'm fiend. I'll drop you off at home and then text you when I get home. My girlfriend and I were quietly trying to get it going one night and my roommate's boyfriend decided to leave his laptop loudly playing the sound of a baby crying outside my bedroom to shut off our libidos. I'm still fairly certain this is because he and my roommate weren't having sex yet and it was his way of taking it out on us. The worst is the time I cock blocked myself. On my 21st birthday at my favorite club at university I was dancing with a girl and after kissing she asked me where I lived. At which point I noticed my friends had left so I drunkenly made my excuses and went and found them in the chicken shop for some fried food to soak up the booze. Well done me. We called it cock blocking and twat swatting back in my day. First time vacationing back to home state in two years and had a solo three hour car ride with a college fling planned but never happened due to having to give another friend a ride back with us. His ride cancelled because I was going back anyway. Her and I had been fantasizing about this car ride for a while only for it to never happen. Ever. Ever. Met this girl at a wedding. We were both in the wedding party. Started talking to her at a bar we went to after the rehearsal dinner. Was about to ask her for her number when her twin brother came over and stood with us for the rest of the night. Was literally naked about to hook up with a guy the first had been chatting long distance with for a few months. Friend liked him suddenly and burst in, crying. He felt guilty, and went to comfort her. I went to bed. She guilt tripped him into dating for almost two years lol. I was banging one out with my girlfriend in high school on Christmas day. My grandmother walked in without knocking. It was horrible. I don't think I ever made eye contact with her for the rest of her days. Girlfriend's husband wouldn't let her leave the house. Asshole. About to have my first and only opportunity to have a threesome back when I was 19. Amazingly gorgeous girl who I was hooking up with and her other insanely hot roommate at a house party in SF. The roommate initiates, I'm about to fulfill the ultimate dream and have two girls ride the baloney pony at the same time. 
Then some douchebags that we're at the party earlier decide to come back and start stealing from the basement rooms and garage. Q freak out and people pounding on our bedroom door telling us what's going on. I've never been so sad, angry, and horny at the same time. I brought a girl back to my dorm and texted my roommate that we needed some privacy. So we're lying on the bed, about to put on a movie, and he comes barging in, piss drunk, holding a sloppy joe sandwich. No plate, no paper towel, the meat's dripping out all over the place. He turns on the light and says, oh hey what are you two doing? I say, we're just talking. He sits on his bed and says, I like to talk, what are we talking about? At that point he takes a bit out of his sandwich and all the meat slides out the back all over the front of his pants. The girl says she's just gone ahead out. Roommate passed out a little after that. I put in my headphones and watched Fellowship of the Ring on my laptop. I have been kicked out of my bed on two separate occasions to make room for someone else's threesome. Hooked up with a bartender for a couple weeks. Ended it. Went to the same bar she worked, small town only good bar, and was talking to a girl and it was going great. Bartender saw and came over and said she was too drunk and her friends needed to take her home. I shat where I ate and must eat where I shat I guess. College. Had a total crush on a girl I sort of knew from high school. Smart girl was accepted to med school and we were in diff EQ together. We studied together and went on some dates. She had this one friend though and she always underscore had underscore to be around. I don't know if there was some codependency going on but she had this nasty attitude. We'd go hang out and snarky friend had to run her mouth. We'd cuddle up and snarky friend would complain the whole time. Finally I broke it off because I just couldn't stand to be around her sidecar friend all the time. Went to a party with my suit mates in college along with their female friend who was visiting. I wound up talking with her the whole night and having a good time, not realizing that she was into me. We get back to the dorms and she managed to get on my bed and were now alone in my room, and I thought nothing of it. My suit mates thought we were hooking up, so one of my friends comes in the door butt ass naked except for a sock around his wiener, and goes, have you guys seen my socks? We all laughed, the moment was ruined, and she wound up leaving. Met up with her randomly in the future and we completed the dead so to speak but yay I was pretty clueless anyway so my cock had two blocks on it that night. Me and my girl were snuggling in bed and she was trying to give her roommate the signal to make herself scarce. Rumi either didn't care or didn't pick up on the signals and decided the three of us should watch Hatchy together. My girlfriend basically gave up and was like, ugh, okay put it on, and we just slept together, spooning no sex. A few years ago, something like a month or two after meeting my girlfriend, we went on a trip with my friends on an island. During a party, we chose to go home earlier to have a bit of time just together. So we began to do foreplay, and before fucking, she wanted to go to the toilets. It ended up when, going back, she crossed my best friend vomiting on the terrace. God made me ugly. I got cock blocked by pizza rolls. Got high with a woman I worked with, we had really clicked, and there was definitely a spark there. She wanted to order pizza, I was a broke ass. So I suggested pizza rolls. Not the off-brand, either. I may have been broke, but totinos or death. Yeah, that wasn't good enough. She started drifting away. On the bright side, now when I bring home a 120-quart bag, my wife looks at me adoringly. Me as a 18-year-old near as dammit virgin playing D&D &D with my group of friends aged 18-23. I started to get on really well with his 23-year-old single neighbor who was part of the gaming group. After a few gaming sessions she got cold on me and the insecure me just passed it off as another rejection. A few years later my best mate who was the dungeon master told me he'd warned her off me as she would have eaten me alive and I didn't deserve that. Damn it I wanted to be eaten alive by her. Worst ever cock block ever and I'm 50 now. By my college mascot. I was hooking up with my girlfriend in my dorm room. Loud knocking at the door. Won't stop. I get up and put just enough clothes on to answer the door. It's my fraternity brother, in full mascot costume, think big fuzzy head, post-game and full of liquor, demanding a hug. I still have wood. He insists on a hug before he leaves. I have to give a very uncomfortable, ass-backed out hug to avoid accidentally humping him. Off he goes. Girlfriend is laughing too hard and we are both too embarrassed to get back to action. Thanks Brian. My kids. Me. Time to go to bed. Kids. We're not sleepy. Me. It's late. This is mommy and daddy alone time. Go to bed. Kids. Can you read me a story? Can I have some water? I'm not sleepy. 
stay with me until I fall asleep, etc., etc., etc. By the time I put him to sleep, my wife was knocked out. They knew exactly what they were doing angry. Second time ever having sex with my now wife, and I'm standing at the edge of the bed, having just donned my condom. I absent-mindedly have my dick flopped on the edge of the bed, when I motion her my way. She gleefully flops herself toward me for some kinky missionary action, and oh so barely manages to sit on the tip of my condom. I notice this, and instead of doing the normal thing and just saying, hey can you lift your ass up a bit? I go full on recoil and take a step back. That sucker stretched a solid foot and a half before her ass cheeks finally gave up and released it. First, the immense pain. Then the laugher. Night did not end with sex. She married me anyway. 5% of these comments, stories about cock blockery. The rest, LMAO beaver damned. For real, thanks for that term. We'll be using it. I was just chatting with a girl in a nightclub, making jokes, doing well, when Kelly Rudy, TSN pundit and retired NHL goalie, literally just stood in between us, just enough room to fit his frame, and said hello to the girl, who looked visibly confused, and turned around and said, you're done, and turned his back to me. I was fairly drunk and half his size, recognized him immediately, so I was a mix of offended and starstruck. I just slinked away. Spouse had been gone for months at boot camp, dating early 20s at the time, of course his family was in attendance for his graduation. They had all left the hotel room for reasons, but came back too early. Didn't see each other in person again for half a year. Is beaver damned a new term? I swear I have never heard it in my life before and it made me laugh. Went over to a girl's house, was supposed to be just us for the night. I was stoked, I was finally gonna lose the card, until her parents came home literally like five minutes after I arrived. Thank God we didn't start anything prior, but total mood killer. Then my dumbass virgin brain couldn't get creative enough, because she's allergic to dogs and I've got one at home. Also my mom's home. I literally had a truck I could have just thrown all my garbage in the half cab and reclined a seat. It's easier when you don't know what you're missing LMFAO. My husband and I thought our four-year-old was asleep so we decided to shower together. The second we start doing the deed we hear tiny footsteps running towards the bathroom and the door gets thrown open then we hear I got a poop. Girl I always had a crush on in HS met up with my friend and I one night. He tried hitting on her, but it wasn't well received. She was interested in me. Night time comes and her and I lay down in bed. She's telling me to take my pants off. My friend refuses to the leave the room and insists on sleeping on the floor of her bedroom. There is a couch open in the living room. He also spends the entire time complaining about how he has to sleep on the floor. I finally give in and let him sleep on the bed, after minutes of trying to convince him to leave. He then proceeds to sleep right in the middle of both of us the entire night. Still pisses me off today.